What's up guys, I just wanted to show you OmniLite real quick, uh, how to create a wallet and create assets. It's actually a pretty quick uh, quick and easy process to do. Only takes maybe five to 10 minutes once you are uh, once you have OmniLite downloaded and it's all synced up and everything. So if you do have OmniLite, uh, you can fast forward a little bit. So if you don't have OmniLite, you go to Omni, OmniLite.org, you're gonna download it. You're gonna do all that stuff. You're gonna let it sync up. And then once it's synced up, it'll look like this. Uh, you won't have these assets on the side, but you will have Litecoin up on the top. So you have overview, balances. You know, these are all your assets. Send, receive, transactions, and toolbox. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do, the next things, the next thing we have to do is create a wallet. We're gonna create a wallet, we're gonna fund it, and then we'll make an asset. So you're gonna go to receive, I actually just made this in a prior video, but somebody was calling me, so it got messed up. So basically what I did for the label was I put test Omni up here. Uh, amount you can leave blank because that's basically if you're just requesting an amount, a specific amount. Message, uh, I didn't put a message in, it's just a test wallet, but you can put whatever you want in there. I put M Addy on my other one so that I know it's in an M, an M, an M address. Um, do not click this box in. This box will create a SegWit address and it hasn't been able to work with creating assets. So just leave this box unchecked. Um, once it's done, you'll have a, a wallet like this. This will pop up once you create it. So once you're done with this form and you do request payment, this window will pop up. Uh, you can fund it. You could just have a you know a hot wallet of your choice. Scan the QR code, send a little bit there. I sent 0.0. 0.01 Litecoin to it and I've done about almost 10 transactions and I still have 0. 0.009 and it's it's very cheap because you're just basically spending uh, transaction transaction fees which are very low. Uh, so you could come back here to overview. The next thing you're going to want to do is you can open up window. Uh, you're going to see this receiving addresses right here. These are going to be the ones we use. We're going to use test Omni right here. Uh, so we'll go away from that for, real quick. We'll go back to window console. This is where you're going to start putting your code in. Um, this I was doing this before. So what you're going to type out is Omni underscore send issuance fixed. This is going to be a fixed number of coins. And then the net and then you'll go per, uh, space parentheses. You're going to put in your address from the one that you created. I'll show you real quick. Back over here, receiving addresses, test Omni, and this is, you know, M A M A R H, you know, yada yada yada, and then that is there, same address. Close your quotations. This three-digit sequence here is going to be uh, ones or uh, one or two. So the first the first number is. Uh, is either mainnet or testnet. So number one is gonna be mainnet, number two will be testnet. So we're gonna go one, we're gonna go on mainnet. And then the second number, so you'll go close quotations, space, one, space. The next one is gonna be indivisible or divisible. So if you want it to be similar to Bitcoin and Litecoin where you can fraction it off, you'll put a two there. But I put a, I put a one because I just want whole tokens. So one, space and then zero so the final number is basically just an identifier of a predecessor token so you don't really need that go zero space and then the next code is going to be uh the next one is basically your labels uh so you'll go parentheses again and then you could put a category in so you can do uh you know, crypto, we'll just, I'll show you how to do that all. Crypto, close your quotations. If you don't put anything in there, you could just leave it blank and just do uh, quotations and then quotations. So a, a double set of quotations. Space, the next set is gonna be like a sub, um, like a subcategory. So crypto, uh, we'll do test. And then close your quotations, another space. The next thing is going to be um, if you have, oh, this is going to actually be your token name. So we're going to go here. We're going to go quotations. And then we'll go, I don't know, you could pick a random name. Uh, we'll do, 
Rob D. Rob D coin. Rob D. Close quotations. Space again. And then this next part is actually going to be if you have a website, you want to link to the coin. Um, I don't have a website for this. So we'll just do quotations, quotations, space. The next thing is going to be a description. So quotations, uh, say, I don't know, Rob D. Test. Rob D. Test. Close your quotations. Just make sure, if you don't fill it in, leave the quotations like that. Double quotes, but nothing inside. So we're going Rob D. Uh, Rob D. Test. Quotation close. Space. And then the final thing is going to be your supply. So we're going to go quotations. We'll do 1,000 coins. Close your quotations. And enter. Okay, so. Uh, all right. So let's see. We've been having issues with the token amount. So let me just copy this. And let's see, some people have had issues with the amount. So we're gonna copy this, paste it back down here. And let me change this amount to 1 million. See if that works. No, that didn't work. All right, let me actually change, <clears throat> let me change that address because I actually I created an address before it didn't work. So then I created another one and it worked. But let me swap this out for the one that did work. So I'm gonna go back over to here, over to window, receiving addresses, and see it says Omni Light working. So I'm just gonna use this address and see if that does the trick. So we'll go back over here to our console. We're going right in there. We're gonna enter that address. Now it's all set and let me change. I just wanna make sure we're able to do what we want with the supply without it giving us issues. So I'm going back to a thousand Rob D coins, enter and boom, there you go. On the light sent transaction. There's your hash, your transaction hash, and we'll go to transactions. And in a few minutes, it'll pop up over here. It'll say Rob D. So, and that's your transaction fee. That's why I still have this much after putting in 0.01. So you're just paying transaction fees when you do this. You know, play around with it a little bit. Uh, you know, make some coins. Have fun with it. And yeah, once once your transactions go through, uh, then it'll pop up right over here. Any issues, uh, hit me up on Twitter. Uh, Boiling Point LLC on Twitter. And actually, it's Boiling Point LLC. And then I also have a Discord. So if you have any issues, hit me up on Twitter or, uh, you know, hit me up on Discord. And uh, I'll help you out. Hopefully, you guys can, uh, you know, make some coins. There is currently 315. I had 315. I don't know if anybody else had any after that. Um, those That's Master BTC LTC. We did a we did a little trade before, um, <clears throat> and so yeah, so that'll pop up. It might say Rob D, and then number three sixteen, unless somebody's uh, created more since the last one I did. But that's pretty much it. So go have fun, guys. Peace.